When I started out, I realized I could be working at this for 10, 20 years and not break in. So I asked myself the rec what it takes to, to, um, to do qu quality art in any field, whether it's movies, visual arts, music. It requires a dedication. That means you don't have the time that a lot of other people spend socializing, hanging out, leisure time, blah, you know, blah, 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 because you're putting it into your art. And so I knew that if I was going to put, take all that time away from people uh, and focus on the art to accomplish it, um, I basically looked ahead 20 years and, and thought, OK, if, if I do this and give up all this other time and other stuff and leisure and, and free time, and I don't make, get any movies made, Will I be, will I be satisfied? And I had read Francis Schaeffer many years ago, and if you haven't, you know, you should. He's somewhat outdated now, so read Nancy Piercy's Total Truth um, to update Francis Schaeffer. But I read Francis Schaeffer, and he helped me to understand how Christianity applies to the arts and how worldview is embedded within the arts. And because of that, I dedicated that the work I do, whatever it was I do, I do it for the glory of, of Christ. Now that doesn't mean I do, I, I don't make Christian movies. I don't, in this, in, in, as, the, in, as we know them, I'm not going to condemn any particular one, but we all know what they are. And some of them even make a lot of money, but I don't do that because I don't believe in it. I don't think propaganda is very effective, and I, I don't think it's preferable. Um, but I do embed my worldview, just like every artist does. Sure. And, and the stories that I tell, the stories I'm interested in, are stories that are about meaning, about truth, and about eternal issues in some way or, man or manner. And so I decided that I was going to, this was going to be my ministry, one of my ministries, the, the, the most important one, which is, I'm going to express the kingdom of God as at best as I know it within my stories. Therefore, because I'm doing it for God, because I feel the calling of God in my life, just like a pastor feels the calling on his life, I, I committed to God. I said, God, I'm going to pursue this, and I'm going to do it for you, which means if at the end of 20 years, if I've been put on the shelf, that's your prerogative. It's your problem because I'm doing it for you, and it's okay. God chooses some people to have a lot of influence and some people not to have a lot of influence. And, if, and, and, and so in other words, it was addressing my pride, too, because mm -hmm. I also was raised with a typical evangelical attitude that, that I want to make a difference, and that's good, and I want to have a life of significance for God's kingdom. But it also brings in this creeping sort of pride notion of, I want to accomplish great things for God. And which sort of is, I want to be a Billy Graham, or I want to be a, you know, uh, a Marvin Olesky. No. Uh, <laughs> I want to have a great influence for God's kingdom. And God does use some people in a special way like that. He uses them in, in, a, in, a, in a bigger way than others. But I realized that there was a subtle aspect of pride in there that if I don't accomplish if I don't have this fame for Christ, you know, if I don't create this big ministry or have this great effect and get thousands of people saved or whatever, you know, fill in the blank, there's this subtle notion of pride that then I haven't really accomplished much. All of us are part of, part of the kingdom, the, 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 the different gifts in the body. And I... I came to realize that, you know, the janitor of the church, I mean, I really do see all the parts of the body as equally important. I don't think the pastor of a church is the most important part of the church. I honestly don't. And I think that all of them are, you know, whether, whether it's the secretary or the, 
you know, on down, uh, we're all equally part of, of God accomplishing his purposes and we're equally valuable. When you really, I mean, you don't just talk about it, but when you really see the world that way, you start to interact in, with people that way mm -hmm. and value them equally. And um, so the, the, the conclusion of that was it would be okay because maybe God just wants me to be an encouragement to other Christians who do make it through my own experiences, and that's okay. And as it happens, you know, yeah, I've started making movies, but it's been, it's been almost that many years, and I haven't made a lot of movies, but because I've told stories that I really believe in and that I believe are truthful, I am very satisfied with the fact that I'm not a big movie, uh, movie filmmaker with fame or any big success in that sense, but I, I'm, I'm confident and grateful and satisfied with the stories I've told because they do honor God and that they are truthful and that's, that's enough to satisfy me.